In the Lee Etude number 12, there are four challenges. Number one, the trills, of course. Number two, the chord in measure 39. Number three, the turn or gruppetto in measure 53. And number four, uh, the overall uneven bow distribution. Let's take a look at each one of those uh, four issues. First, the trills. Uh, I like to try to play each one of these trills with nine notes. And also with any trill, I like to have the trill go directly into the following note without any gap or stop at all. So for that reason, the end of the trill is often the most difficult part of the trill. So I like to practice my trills, any trills, backwards. And here's what I mean by that. As an example, to show you how I would practice the trill going from measure five into measure six, this is what I would do. I would play the last two notes, those little notes, the nachschlag, that look like uh, two grace notes. I would play them directly into the next downbeat that follows. And I would practice that several times. Then I would add one note before that, making it three notes. I would go practice that several times. And then I would play four notes. I'm playing them rather slowly right now so that you can hear how many notes I'm playing, but when you're practicing them, you want to try them, play them as quickly as you possibly can, like. Then I would practice five notes. And really, that quintuplet is how I like to think all trills that end with a nachschlag, how they end, is really with five notes. Then uh, we would do six notes, then seven notes, and by the time we've gotten to seven notes, that means the finger that is dropping down to play the upper note will drop down twice. And by the way, uh, I often like to play half-step trills between one and three. Give it a try, see if you like it. So here's seven notes. And then eight notes. And then finally no, nine notes. And when we're playing nine notes, that means the upper finger will drop down three times. And you should practice it that way with all the trills. Now, number two, the chord in measure 39. First off, there's a mistake. The middle note should be a D. Therefore, it's a G minor chord. And the way we played this chord is we'd play the first finger B flat on the A string, and then just bar the thumb for the two harmonics on the D and the G string. And so you're going to roll the chord from the lowest note to the top note, like that. Now, the third item, the turn or gruppetto in measure 53. It's going to have to be played very, very quickly in order to be able to fit it in rhythmically. But first you need to establish what the underlying rhythm is. So I would practice it without the four notes at all. I would practice it like this. So that we know what the underlying rhythm is that should not be disturbed. So. The four little notes rob time from the note before it, not the C after it. So that means that first C on beat two should be played something like a 16th note. And then you go directly, very quickly, into the gruppetto. So it would sound like this. And then finally, number four. Uh, much of the measures in this etude have twice as much down bow time-wise as they do on the up bow. There's usually, or often, a half note worth of down bow followed by a quarter note worth of up bow. So that means the up bow is going to have to move fairly quickly to get back to the frog for the next downbeat of the next measure. But you want to try to do this without making that third beat louder. So here we go. One, two,
State Etude, the Storcherabe Etude number 24, is on uh, the Dr. Mark Morton YouTube channel. It was used for the Allstate auditions back in 2011 and 2012, and you can find it on this playlist. So I'll see you there. <laughs> 